Hi, Brentek here, where tech is made simple. So after posting at the beginning of this month that FlyOBE had released version 1.6, which, as you may well know by now, is a popular bypass app to get past the hardware requirements to install Windows 11 and especially 24H2 on unsupported hardware. I'll leave the video for 1.6 linked if you'd like some more info. Now already... We have version 1.7 that was released. And just a quick look to see what's new in Flyer OBE 1.7. And the developer is really paying a lot of attention to this app and giving it a lot of updates and improvements. And almost every second day now, I'm posting on a new update for this Windows 11 bypass app. And I think the big one with 1.7 is there is now a new OOBE page to discover and disable Windows Copilot and AI features right after installing Windows 11. So if you're not a big fan of AI in Windows 11, then the app now gives you a whole lot of different options to disable different features like click to do Copilot, um, AI in Edge, Recall, and so on. And then they've also improved the apps page for bloatware removal, which now supports presets ranging from full to minimal, plus the option to load community presets from GitHub. They've also optimized the install provider backup install drivers feature with support for exporting to custom folders. The developer says there's also a critical hard DPR bug that's been fixed. There's also minor tweaks to the B user interface, which they seem to be doing quite a lot of. And there's extensive refactoring under the hood with the first commits already live on GitHub. So I think the big one with 1.7 is the ability now to disable AR features like Windows Copilot and so on, which I think is a nice move if AR is not your thing. And then just a couple of hours later, version 1.7.284 was released with the developer saying this update is especially important for everyone still on Windows 10 who plans to stay there and take advantage of the extended security updates, also known as the ESU program. And it's mentioned that you need to make sure you grab this hotfix to ensure smooth enrollment. So basically this was an emergency fix that was rolled out just a couple of hours after version 1.7. So there are two improvements for this update. And the first improvement, it's mentioned that a critical bug has been fixed in the ESU enrollment package where the selected parameter wasn't actually being executed. And it's said that you can now pass the correct parameter for local or online accounts directly just as documented in the consumer ESU script. And then the second improvement is the brand new OOBE page for exploring and disabling AR in Windows 11, which was introduced in version 1.7, which we just had a look at, it's mentioned has been reworked at its core. It now digs even deeper to uncover the way AR is embedded throughout Windows 11. So this is basically an important hotfix to cover 1.7 with 1.7.284. So quite a lot going on with this Fly OBE. And just keeping you guys posted regarding this app because it has become quite popular and has gained quite a lot of interest if you are wanting to install Windows on unsupported hardware. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.